Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk a little bit more about um, something that some people don't like to talk about. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna level with you. I have struggled from the beginning I started answering questions on this channel with trying to answer questions in a way that didn't bring a lot of like my personal beliefs into them. And the only reason I did that was because whenever you talk about your faith or your religion or things of that nature, there's a lot of judgment and ridicule that follows. And I was not always prepared to handle that. And so I've always tried to answer my questions in a way that sort of like veered away from being very, you know, religious. And I know that if you watch the Shaytard's vlogs, you probably noticed lately that Shay and I have been talking a little bit more about our faith. And it's just because it's a big thing in our lives. We, you know, we're talking about it a lot in the vlog. So Anyways, today's questions are gonna have to do with that a little bit. So if you don't wanna hear about it, then you can click off the video now. <laughs> but the first question comes from C Mendoza 94 And they ask, does your faith interfere with YouTube at all? Now, when I first read this question, I actually had to laugh because in my mind, my faith has, it's been in my life since before I can remember and I've been taught about God and Jesus and you know that's how I was raised and you can call it like brainwashed or whatever you want to call it because I know I'll get those comments but I'm really really trying to speak openly without pre-reading the comments in my mind if that makes sense because sometimes I filter myself with the thought of oh I'm going to get this comment, and I'm going to get this comment, and I don't want to hear it, and I don't want to hear it. So I'll filter myself, but I'm going to try sincerely to talk to you guys without filtering those negative comments. So this question, when I first got it, I was like, I, my faith has shaped and formed and molded me to who I am today. There's not any decision that I have made from my youth that I haven't prayed about or used God in making those decisions. To say that has my faith interfered with YouTube would be so backwards to me because everything that has transpired in our lives up until now has been because of the choices we've made because of what we believe. Now, to flip the question a little bit, maybe what you were trying to ask was, you know, if I ever struggled with being on YouTube and trying to live my faith. But I've been asked that before by people that are my friends that say, oh, is that hard for you to live in LA and live in that type of a lifestyle and still follow through with your beliefs and believe what you believe? So in answer to that, yes, there has been some conflict, but it's never been hard to know how I was going to get through the conflict because I know where I stand. If there's a party and there's a lot of drinking and I don't believe in drinking, then I don't drink. You know, there's different things like that, but people are like, oh, how do you do it? But I think that if you're just living your life how you've always lived it, regardless of what's going on around you, then you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. I guess how I want to conclude with this is there's going to be things that interfere with what you believe regardless of what you believe. There's always gonna be something that's going to come up, that's gonna make you question, that's gonna make you be like, oh, what should I do in this situation? And it just comes down to being firm in what you believe and what you stand for. You always have the power to choose, and that goes for you know, us being on YouTube and on the internet, or for you being, you know, going to a party or being with your friends or going to work, going to a job, you know, anytime there's going to be some type of conflict and you just have to know. So no, YouTube has not interfered with my faith. And if it ever did, I would just say see you later, YouTube. So no worries. My next question comes from Annalyn SC19. Did you ever have a moment in your life where you weren't sure about the direction God wanted you to go? If so, how did you find it? This is a really great question, and in my opinion, I don't know, I don't know what is going on with God. I don't know his plan, but in my opinion, I don't think that God has a very like specific plan laid out for everybody. I think that his greatest gift that he's given us is the power to choose, the power to have our free agency, to choose our destiny, choose our you know, what school we go to, who we marry, all those things. In my opinion, I think that God is like a father. He, he wants to 
make us independent by allowing us to make our own decisions, but he's also going to be there when he sees a, a decision we might be making that may not be good for us, mm -hmm. as long as we are still asking and seeking him out. Because sometimes, well, let's be honest, we make decisions that our parents don't agree with, regardless of what they think. But if we are searching God and praying and asking for his guidance, then I think that we can be guided to things that might be better for us. I do feel like there's been times in my life where I wasn't sure exactly what I needed to do, but as long as I'm praying and trying to you know, be the kind of person that I want to be, then I've been able to just make my own decisions and it's somehow worked out. And of course I've made decisions in life that I'm like, oh man, was that really necessary? <laughs> like the time that Shay and I were living in Idaho and we were, we had both had great jobs. We made the decision to move to Utah and it wasn't necessarily like we didn't really feel like an answer either way, like we should or shouldn't do it. So we just went ahead and did it. And it turned out not really being a great decision at the time. However, that experience, the things that happened in Utah and our experiences there led us to a different point in our life that was like, oh, would we have been led to this point in our life had we have not done this? So it's things like that. I think that God expects us to make our own decisions, but he's also going to teach us things along the way. Don't get so stressed out about like, oh no, what should I do? Is this right or wrong? Am I gonna be, you know, totally off the path if I do this decision? No, if you're following your heart and listening and praying, then you're going to be led in directions that are going to be good for you, in my opinion. And it might not always feel like it's good for you, but it might be in the long run. The experiences and the things that we went through in Utah helped shape and mold us in a way that led us to the next phase of our lives. So it's hard to know exactly if, if that was a bad decision, even though at the time it felt like a bad decision. So I always feel like God is sort of helping and he's orchestrating as long as we're trying to you know, make good decisions. And as long as we're praying and we're trying to include him in on those decisions, then we're going to be led in directions that are going to be good for us. And maybe they won't seem like they're good for us, but God is always going to teach us what he needs us to know in those moments. So don't stress out about it. Just trust. Trust in God and keep praying. That's my opinion. And I appreciate you guys being a part of my life and allowing me to open up like this because I wouldn't feel comfortable um, opening up to anybody else other than you guys. You're great and I love you. Please continue asking questions um, and stay tuned for my Twitter for um, the next time that I shoot. I'll ask more questions. Anyways, I love you. Comment below. I'll see you next time. Bye. Maybe I should make some bloopers. My next question from, come, hold it. My mind just goes, we're trying to shoot for Katie Lack. Oh, yeah. What was that? Was that one of the shade tarts?